Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, we're going to be listening to this 1991 fucking gem, Massacre from Beyond on Earache Records. One of my favorite fucking death metal albums. Cam Lee, one of the best death metal vocalists. If you've never heard this record, then you are slacking on your 90s death metal. <clears throat> and yeah, pick this up. There's another version of this with like a blue portal. I'm not sure what the difference is, uh, but this is some Eric Repka artwork. And you know how much I love Repka. But today's a little uh, topic video. Um, just because I was on Trash Talk Tuesday last night, which is Grim Trash Can's uh, weekly discussion, which I highly suggest checking out. Um, he has a bunch of other YouTube guys that do, uh, you know, videos about music and stuff, and it's awesome. It's real cool to be able to be part of the online community and, you know, talk about metal and shit. It's fucking cool. And uh, last night, um, Grim Trash Cam was, uh, he mentioned how, uh, he didn't really get blood incantation, so I decided I'm gonna make this video just about blood incantation and why they are important, in my opinion, okay? Like, I've seen them live, I think they're one of the best death metal bands right now, and in the past, like... I think Horrendous and Pissgrave are the only two other death metal bands that really came out of nowhere and just like clocked me and was like, yo, this shit rules. And because of Blood Incantation, I found out about their other band, Spectral Voice, which Blood Incantation also did a split with. This is some of the heaviest fucking death doom I've ever fucking heard. And it's from America, like, it straight up sounds like some Finnish death doom, but no, straight up American. But, uh, so, Blood Incantation had tons of demos, a split with, uh, Spectral Voice, but then, as soon as this came out, the Interdimensional Extinction EP, every single person in the death metal community that heard this, pretty much knew, like, alright, this band is something special, and, uh, I fucking love this EP so much, seriously, it's so fucking cool, especially, the, oh, man, Hovering Lifeless, just one of the coolest tracks, like this part here, sorry, I just have to, but, they stepped it up, like, they did a split with, uh, Spectral Voice, and then, uh, Star Spawn was released. This record is a monster. But, uh, a lot of people were saying they didn't get the hype around it. And I don't think that there, well, there is hype around this record because, first off, I saw this for $75 on Discogs. Like, if you buy this for $75, I'm sorry, but don't do that. That's not very smart. Like, seriously, hit up Matt at Dark Descent. I bet he has some in the back. Hit the band up. You never know. Like, I wish I would have got the red one. I always say I don't care about colored vinyl. But with this, I was thinking about it. And I'm like, fuck, I really should have got the red one. But I got black. But anyways, so... Grim Trash Cam was just saying, he listened to Star Spawn, and he was like, yeah, it's just a, it's a technical, trippy death metal record, and that's what this is. But to me, like, going from Interdimensional Extinction, this is such a fucking step up. Like, don't get me wrong, I love this to death. Like, it's almost tied. I mean, don't. Uh, I'm probably gonna get some hate for this, but honestly, like, I can't wait for the Spectral Voice fucking full length. But this demo, the Necrotic, this is just a demo. The Necrotic Doom demo is so fucking good. 
It's everything I love about, like, Death Doom. It straight up sounds like... Just... Oh my god. Like a trash... Fucking compactor of sonic power. So fucking killer. I just want to show you the uh, lyric sheet real quick. Uh, there's a sick etching on the back of this. Same thing with Interdimensional Extinction. Dark Descent Records does not fuck around. Like, I'll take it out for you. I don't really want to, but I'll just flip it over. You can't really see it because it's on black, but it's like this skeleton vomiting up other skeletons. It's badass. But, uh, here we go. It's, it's this, but it's an etching of this. But anyways, uh, you pretty much have everybody from Blood Incantation on the Spectral Voice demo, except for they didn't have a permanent bass player on this, but, uh, it's Paul's band, pretty much, uh, Blood Incantation, so... Let's get into Blood Incantation, because this Spectral Voice demo, I just wanted to show that these guys aren't just in Blood Incantation, that they have many, many talents, and they have yet to put out a bad fucking demo, a bad song. I know a lot of people were, like, surprised with the Spectral Voice song that they did on that split, because, like, it wasn't as slow as Crushing as all... The, you know, the demos and rehearsal tapes. Like, if you can get your hands on those Blood Incantation or Spectral Voice rehearsal tapes, hit me up. For real. Like, I'm not a tape guy, but when it comes to that shit, that's the only format available. I, I'll, I'll buy that shit. But, anyways. Let's go back into the Interdimensional Extinction EP. It's a really good place to start. I mean, again, you're going to have a fucking hard-ass time finding this vinyl for cheap. Like, I pre-ordered the reissue because I wasn't paying fucking $70 for the first pressing of, of four songs. As good as they are, like, I'm sorry, I can't justify paying that much, but... So death metal and awesome. I'll go over both this and Star Spawn and explain, hopefully, in enough time why these bands matter right now. Like, first off, imagine if Morbid Angel didn't put out that shitty eye record and looked to uh, their past for inspiration instead of trying to sound like Marilyn Manson. You know what I mean? Like, they pretty much released like a gothic record and it was fucking terrible and I haven't heard the Leibach remixes. Hell, I only heard the record once, but uh, <laughs> Sean Kemp Ligeroff was talking about uh, shooting the, the vinyl with a fucking shotgun or the CD with a shotgun. I don't know, but uh, now, Star Spawn is, in my opinion, a giant, well, not necessarily giant, but it's a step up from the Interdimensional Extinction EP, where I said it's a good place to start for uh, Blood Incantation. And it is. But uh, Paul Riddell is the fucking man. Also one of the coolest front men ever. The dude says some of the funniest shit be be between songs. But, uh, you have, uh, Paul Riddell on lead and rhythm guitars, vocals, and synths. Morris Kalinowski on lead, rhythm, and classical guitars. Jeff Barrett on electric four-string. And acoustic seven-string fretless basses. And Isaac Falk on drums and bowed cymbals. And, uh, the logo's by the Lurkering Devourer, who also does Spectral Voices stuff. Uh... The artwork, you know, it just looks like, well, just our logo. A lot of people <laughs> bust my balls and say, it looks like somebody threw up on your t-shirt. I'm just like, well, you have no idea, you know. If you heard Chaoplasm, then maybe you would change your fucking mind, asshole. But anyways, 
if you're gonna listen to this album, just start from the first track and have a lyric sheet with you if possible. I mean, you can, if, if you download it digitally, I'm sure you can find the lyrics online, but the lyrics are super fucking cool and the whole entire just concept alone is so awesome. Like, especially on the title track, Star Spawn, like, I actually really, really, like, believe in some of this stuff. Like, especially the way that they put it here. I love how they also, they label their guitar solos and stuff. It's super cool. But, uh, I'll read you the lyrics from Star Spawn, the title track. Feel the bile churning away, mold the substance to send through the gate. Cosmic seas of fire traverse the void of space. Bringing human souls from another world, manipulate the species from inside. Watch them fight and kill to build the mega cemetery urns of the planet. In this lacrimose universe of furious dimensions. No death is known, only doorways. You are the Stargate. Fuck yeah. Like, that's so awesome to me. Like, just, you know, when you die, you just become part of the cosmos. Like, like that's, like, the whole thing. And it's awesome. Like, I remember uh, when I saw them live... Uh, Paul was asking, like, in between songs, like, he has some real funny stage banner, but it's kind of serious, too. He was asking, hey, like, what's your guy's favorite conspiracy theory? And everybody's, like, you know, yelling 9-11 and all this shit, and he just goes, you want to know what mine is? And he has, like, this echo on his microphone, and he's just like, humans, and it echoes, like, humans, 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 and then they went into, uh, Hidden Species, uh, Vilification of Blood Part 2, which was amazing live. Seriously, one of the best live death metal bands. I really wish I would have been there to see Spectral Voice as well at California Death Fest. But I got to see Blood Incantation about from where the camera is, is where, like, I was standing here and they were shredding where the camera was. No stage. They played on the floor in the smallest club in Philly. It was amazing. But this whole record pretty much like it really like hints in on like a bunch of ancient alien stuff. If you're into like conspiracies, ancient alien technology, the Anunnaki, I think that's how you pronounce that. Like pretty much if you listen to Joe Rogan's podcast, you will love this fucking album. Like I mean that photo is from NASA, the just Cosmos. But uh, the paintings are by Don Dixon at uh, Cosmographica. Space photos by NASA. Disc image. Uh, but um, yeah, dude. Like I can't recommend this enough. If you're a fan of Morbid Angel, like early Morbid Angel, fuck yeah. And like death, like human error and just death in general like you need this fucking album in your life but ah here it is i have a little surprise now i have as you could you can't see it right now but i actually have a spare what incantation star spawn poster and i also have ta-da you want a download card? There you go. That's Blood Incantation Star Spawn. Right there. Okay? So don't say I never gave you anything. If nobody claims that, I mean, this poster is going to a friend of mine, so I can't give this away. But let's just check out the Star, the star Spawn. Check them out. Got the Illuminati logo. Uh, badass stuff. I can't recommend this record enough. It, it is something that, you know, you're either going to get it, or, you know, you might have to start at the EPs and demos to realize how fucking good this really is. <laughs> 